sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the state of Florida and TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. This crowd excited to see their Jaguars as both teams emerge from their tunnels a moment ago. We are just about ready for football as the Jags get set to match up with the Detroit Lions. Here now to get us started is Logan Cook, and off we go from Jacksonville. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone, and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A shotgun snap for gone. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, Swift. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. A play fake for Swift. Now Goff on the move to his left. Pass the 20. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. A big connection on that one. 37 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Swift, and he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there, and if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. time opening drive here what would you do there is no decision for me i'm the visitor i'm on the road i've moved the ball downfield i've got momentum i'm going for it right here look at that play sheet pick out your best play and even if you don't get it then your defense is going to have a really good situation on the other side exactly and in fact though i'm not even telling my defense to get ready i'm telling them to get ready to celebrate because we're going to score And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Lions take it right down and score on the opening drive. Extra point by Seibert up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Oh 
Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. That one complete, he finds Sharp. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Here's a second and two now from the 33. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On third down, it's Robinson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And that is incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's Lawrence to throw. Connection made with Chanel. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short, just outside of field goal range in all likelihood. What do you do? I'm going for it. I've got to go get it right now. I want to establish a tone. It's early in the game. I want to let my offense know that I believe in them. And you know something else? I let my defense know I believe in them also by taking that gamble. If we don't get it, it's okay. You guys will cover for me. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 33, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Meanwhile, Goff's throw taken in by Hawkinson here. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. A gain of 15. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. They're going back to the same well. It's Hawkinson again. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength trying to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space. To Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Josh Allen credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to wind up and air it out. And oh no, it's incomplete. 
Well, it's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. And a fair catch taken here at the five-yard line. Oh, interesting. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And it'll be Jaguar football as they take over deep in their own territory. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Here's Robinson again on second down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. Sharks got it, left side. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? You no, know, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. Lawrence with the handoff to Robinson. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. A play fake for Robinson. Now Lawrence. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. They'll fake the give. Now golf. He'll get this off to Swift. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Lions add on to their lead. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. 
to this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Play action. It's Lawrence. And Shark hauls it in. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also into field goal range at the 28. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll roll him out right. And he'll just get rid of it. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They go play action with Lawrence. He's going to go up top for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. It's a throw again is Lawrence. That's caught. It's Dan Arnold, the tight end. That is going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. The Jags with their first opportunity in the red zone. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be a 34-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both these teams running through their final adjustments before they head out of the locker room. We're just about set for the second half. And to bring it your way, let's go back upstate to Jacksonville and Brandon God. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Jaguars with work to do. They trail here as we are back underway on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. On the run, it's Robinson. Able to push his way through. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Hey, hey, Wood! All day, baby, all day! Check, check, lucky, lucky, lucky! From the gun, it's Lawrence. Finds the open target, Arnold. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. And I think there defensively, they were so intent on stopping the run that they kind of got caught out of position. This is just a simple pitch and catch for a first down. On first down, Robinson. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Tackled there by Alex Anzalone. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, 
And he couldn't even get... And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off at the 47. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish. But you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. The 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think he rifles one that's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. This defense figured out something in the locker room. That's two third quarter picks now. And you just wonder, did he get too comfortable in the locker room himself? His team has the lead. Take care of the football. He's putting him in jeopardy right now. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Arnold. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. They'll run on first down. Robinson and just bowling over tacklers. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 51 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the 5-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yes, now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll try the left side. It's Robinson. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Lawrence will throw. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. They're not going to kick it. A chip shot, but they're going for it down three on fourth down. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. They stop him on fourth and goal at the three. And the Lion defense able to come up there with a goal line stand. The 
Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Damian Wilson in on the stop. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Once again, it's Swift. And he was very fortunate there to get out of his end zone. He maybe got back to the two-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. to the left there and complete to the tight end Hawkinson and he is out of bounds able to get it across the 20 yard line whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football there's a great example right there those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games we're in the third quarter of this one and this is a tight one in order to maintain pace keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board those are the plays they need to continue to convert the tackle there by Trey Herndon. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Off play action. Here's gone. He'll buy some time right. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. And now offensively it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before this worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Back to the running game with Swift. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On second down and four, Goff. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tackled there by Rayshon Jenkins. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. A play fake for Swift, now gone. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's got some space here. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 25-yard line. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 
This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try to loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. From the gun on third down, gone. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. Touchdown! T.J. Hawkinson, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And his guys will take a ten-point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at... Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. A first down and more, ETN. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. He'll rifle this one deep right side. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 33. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. The Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And they move this all the way down to the 9. 
A big play that time through the air. 37 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. On second and goal, Goff. Steps away to his left. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Jags grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, I'm guessing that on the sidelines, there might be a few words said about that mistake there, but I don't think it's going to hurt them in the long run. They're still going to get out of here with a win. Yeah, they got the, the two-score cushion, but you know what coaches say, Charles? Finish strong. Finish the game out the way it's supposed to be played. In fact, coaches might be secretly happy because of a chance to do a little extra coaching next week. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Lawrence, able to connect with Chark, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and this is scooped up by the Lions. There he goes, left side. And that might just submit it. A return for a late touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. That's what they've done all game long. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, <laughs> the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way. Because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Arnold. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. He finds his man complete. It's Arnold. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Now, and under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Will Harris, and the Lions are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions, and they were really helped by their defense forcing three turnovers.